Next, uh, we go to the last type of uh, material, which is conductor. I believe most of you already familiar with a conductor, where this kind of material can conduct electricity, normally the electric currents. So let's see the properties of the conductor. Conductor basically have very high conductivity. The conductivity uh, related to the flow of electron or currents. So here we can set to be infinity uh, and we have the value of mu, certain mu and the epsilon equal to epsilon naught. The loss tangent sigma divided by mu epsilon will be much much greater than 1. The skin depth uh, equal to 1 over alpha. The skin depth represents how deep the EM wave can penetrate the structures okay, or the conductor. And here, alpha and beta have the same expression, which is equal to omega third mu epsilon over 2 sigma divided by omega epsilon. Uh, can be simplified equal to third mu epsilon sigma divided by 2 newton pole per meter. And the value of the intrinsic impedance equal to third omega mu divided by sigma. And the tangent to theta n equal to sigma divided by omega epsilon approaching infinity. When the tangent to theta n approaching infinity, that means the 2 theta n equal to 90 degrees or the theta n equal to 45 degrees. This is characteristic for conductors. When we observe the, the graph of the electric field and magnetic field, we can see that there is a phase difference of 45 degrees between both fields, where the magnetic field lagging 45 degrees behind the electric field. So, in terms of the equations, alright, so this is general equations for the electric field. We have E equal to in the direction of X, E naught. We have exponent minus alpha z because we have a very high losses in a conductor. And then we have the functions cos omega t minus beta z. This is the propagation directions. For the H field, similarly, we have these are lossy components. And the component is at y. And the same direction of propagation. Here we have the phase delay of 45 degrees. So, um, this is a skin depth. The distance where the wave has decreased 37% of its original value. This is represent the skin depth of the electric field, the penetration of the field inside um, the conductors. Let's see example 4. A uniform propagating wave in a medium has E equal to 2 exponent minus alpha x sine 10 power of 8 t minus, minus beta z y volt per meter. If the medium has excellent r equal to 1, mu r equal to 20, and Sigma equal to 2 m holes per meter, find alpha, beta, and magnetic field. So basically, uh, you are given the E field. This is um, the lossy components or attenuation components, and this is a beta. This is the direction of propagation, Z, and this is the oscillating uh, component of E. This is not x but y so that's that's why i said you have to uh, observe the the equation carefully right this is a another uh, extra information about the material given and this is basically the answers
So how we can obtain this answer? So we have to see one by one. Okay. Um, to determine uh, the, the loss tangent of a medium, we use these formulas. Loss tangent equal to sigma divided by omega epsilon equal to 3 divided by 10 power of 8 multiplied by epsilon. Epsilon equal to epsilon naught because given the epsilon r is equal to 1, so epsilon equal to epsilon naught. Uh, in your calculator, this is basically constant 32. Okay, so the value is 8.854 10 power of multiplied by 10 power of minus 12. This is basically epsilon naught. Okay, so when you calculate, you got the value of loss tangent 3388, which is a very big. Okay, very big. And we have to write down the general equation of magnetic field. We know that in um, conductors, so the difference is only we have the uh, the phase delay of theta n, and we also know what is the theta n. Theta n, theta n is a 45 degrees. This is what we know, and let's prove it. And we also have a, this is the attenuation components, and h naught also can be determined. So how to define the, how to calculate the intrinsic impedance, the magnitude equal to, um, this is omega, omega, mu, so the omega mu divided by sigma. Equal to, 28.9 and the direction of um, propagation here is basically um, the AP equal to AE cos AH we know that E is Y and AP is Z so this is X y z as usual this is the rotation the 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 sequence so z is equal to y basically cos minus x because in this sequence so basically the answer is minus x and then uh, this one is 45 like we expect but we can prove it because the tangent 2 theta n equal to 3881 which is very big so the reverse tangent is around 90 degrees and half of it is 45 degrees so it's proven and alpha equal to beta equal to um, this is a mu and then this is a omega a sigma divided by 2 so you got 61.4 so Put everything inside the uh, formulas or expression we got uh, minus 69 exponent minus 61.4 sine 10 power of 8 t minus 61.4 z minus 45 degree in the action of x because we have minus x here so we put minus milli ampere per meter something not showing is the how we determine the h0 is not um, uh, given here but the h0 is basically um, e0 divided by the magnitude of intrinsic impedance so you have to divide e0 in this question e0 is uh, 2 you got 2 here, so 2 must be divided by 28.9. 2, this one is 28.9. You got uh, 69 milli, okay, the value. So we settle here. So as a conclusion, we have the four different type of 
media, which is the firstly the lossy mediums. For the lossy medium, the sigma is, is, is not equal to zero, it has certain value. And the sigma divided by epsilon, omega epsilon is much less than one. And it has the phase difference of theta n, the lagging, the h lagging e. The rest is almost the same. The propagation direction same. Okay, this is a uh, um, the E at H always perpendicular. And then for lossless mediums, so the sigma is equal to zero, no loss. And then we have we, we can see that the E and H is in phase. For the free space, also the same. No phase different, both in phase except the, the difference is only this. The intrinsic impedance is almost the same for free space, which is 377 ohm. Lastly, for conductors, we have the very high sigma, means it can conduct uh, good currents, and then uh, the sigma divided by omega epsilon is very big, and we can see that between E field and H field, we have the first phase difference around 45 degrees. Hopefully, you can see the difference between all type of medium that we discussed uh, so far.